اشهد ان لا اله الا الله اشهد ان محمد رسول الله and then we have the other claim that Jesus is the son of God now this is a question we really have to ask what does a person mean by that words have meanings what does it mean son of god now i know what it means about my son i know what my son is my son is the product of an intimate act that took place between me and my wife and a son was born okay that's my son yes we all understand what that means so do we mean that god literally begat the word begat meaning sired If God literally begat a son that means God must have had intercourse. God must have begat a son means God must have had intimate relations with a woman. Of course this is the very question the Quran asks. If Allah God had a son then who is Allah's wife? If Allah had a son who is his wife? Because God must have had intimate relations to have a son literally. So most people would agree no we don't believe that. That's not what we say. We don't believe that Jesus is literally the son of God. Okay, so what do you claim then that God that God adopted Jesus as a son? Now again we want to know does that have any real meaning? So for example, if I bought along today uh, a little poodle. Okay? And I hear and I say here's John my son. Okay? Now I know the Arabs in the audience are going to find this particularly funny but for us English you know there are some English people who believe me they love their dogs more than they love their kids Okay But even so if someone said this dog is my son even if they were English you'd still say no wait a minute that's a dog and you're a human being And if what if he goes on to say no he's my son He eats with me at the table. The adoption papers are coming through next week. Okay? This is my son. And you would say, "Look, you're a human being that is a dog. You can't take a dog as your son. You have to take a human being as your son. Something like you." Yes? That's what we understand. It doesn't mean anything. It's it's an absurdity. In fact, you know how we in uh, how we insult people, we say "Ibn Qalb," you son of a dog. Huh? You say that someone is the son of a dog. Even in America they have it, you son of a dog. Okay? They have that. Okay, and the reason they have that is because you equate a human being with being like something that is less than a human being. So believe me, believe me. When the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the messenger of God, who Allah sent to clarify the truth of all of these things, Muhammad He said that Allah said the son of Adam has insulted me this is what Allah said the son of Adam has insulted me and he had no right to do so what right do we have to insult God and as for our insulting God that is our saying that God has a son that is our saying that God because we are not anything like God we are small little specks I flew in an aeroplane for 24 hours over the surface of this earth. I looked down from all the way up there and humanity became what? Little specks on an earth that is a little speck in a solar system that is a speck on the outer spiral of our galaxy, the Milky Way, which is 10,000 light years across. Our galaxy is one of thousands of galaxies, millions of galaxies in the known universe. even our galaxy is a speck and we're going to say that god god the creator of the universe this universe which is it's like a ring thrown in the desert compared to the kursi this is what the prophet said this universe is like a ring thrown in the desert compared to the kursi and the kursi is like a ring thrown in the desert compared to the arsh meaning the throne of god The universe is an infinitesimally small speck compared to the throne of God and we're going to say God God was a speck in a speck in a speck God's son was a speck that is insulting God 
There is no doubt. And in the Quran, the final revelation from God to humanity, it says unequivocally that the heavens are ready to rent asunder and the mountains are ready to crumble into ruin because they say that the merciful God had a son. This is the state of the universe. Uh, the anger of this claim that God has a son, that Allah has a son. God is totally free from such a thing. He doesn't need a son. He is in no need of a son. And he is in no need to kill an innocent human being in order to forgive people's sins. All you have to do is to recognize that you have done something that is offensive to God and from the bottom of your heart seek and pray and beg for his forgiveness. And the first thing that one should seek and pray and beg forgiveness for is attributing such an evil thing to God by claiming that the all-wise, all-knowing, eternal, ever-living God became a man is in fact amongst the greatest crimes that ever a human being could ever commit. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين